Good morning students today we will be learning about the second chapter from your english book and the name of the chapter is wild duck and this chapter is written by Gum- Ramesh Ganesh Kera now here i begin with the chapter in this chapter there are two main characters one is father and one is the boy the small boy that means the father and the son now here the chapter begins with a small scene where the son and father they both are in a sitting in a small boat and they both are waiting for the birds that means the wild ducks to fly over the hills now here the father is pointing towards the hills and saying to his son that the birds the ducks will come from that side of the hill so point your gun towards it and he has given his son the gun for the first time for shooting the ducks and he is giving his son the training of shooting and hunting so he the son is also waiting eagerly they were sitting in a small boat facing each other and the boat is in a motionless position they the boat was not moving at all because they were sitting and waiting for the wild ducks to fly over the mountains and they will shoot it so both the son and dad were ready with their guns the moment the ducks will come they will shoot it now the dad was giving training to his son that the moment the ducks will come you will have to point it out first which duck you want to shoot and you don't have to hurry up and all the lessons of hunting and shooting he was giving to his son son was very excited since for the very first time he has got a gun in his hand and on the other side he was nervous also that he is going to shoot someone but at that time he was not having that sense of feeling that shooting and hurting someone can give him such a pain now let's see what happens next the moment the ducks came flying o- over the hills the son noticed it son said see that there are millions of wild ducks flying over the sky now we should shoot them then the father said fine now the father has pointed out a gu- sh- duck and started shoot firing now the son was sitting and waiting and he was watching his father how the way he is firing he was having patience now the son in the very first shot has shooted the duck who was leading his friend uh, about to say his army you can say the army of the duck and the leader got shooted by the son itself and he fell down somewhere in the water now the son started moving the boat with the help of the oar which was stuck in in the boat so he moved there and he saw that the duck is lying in the water but he is not dead the moment he saw that the water is full of blood and the duck is re- feeling uh, the, the duck has got hurt he started feeling very bad about it and he took the duck in his hand and he said that now i we need to go home right now the dad said but you don't know how to take care of a duck he said i'll learn about it then they both both of them went back home he started taking care of the duck he gave them medicine he put bandage he started feeding the duck he made he make sure everything that he knows everything how to deal with a wounded duck finally he w- uh he was he became successful in making the duck um, all right and the duck was taking small small steps in front of him that was giving a sense of relief sense of happiness to the son that i have not killed anyone that sense of killing someone has given the son such a bad feeling that he threw away his gun the moment his father asked that where is your gun he said very boldly i threw them away father said but why he said it was mine as you gave it to me so it was mine now it was my decision whether i'll keep it or i'll throw it so i threw it dad then dad said that you are sick that means dad was definitely angry that he threw the gun but at the same time dad was feeling and having a sense of peace that he is not having the gun anyway so that means he cannot hurt himself or to any other person or animal in the near future so this is the end of the story this was a very short story about the father and the boy and the sensitive feeling the feeling of not hurting someone was there in the boy which he came to know after hurting someone that means after hurting a wild duck 
सो इट वॉज़ अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी एंड इट वॉज़ अ नाइस स्टोरी रिटन बाय रोमेश गुनेश कराम द पर्सन हु हैज़ रिटन इट ही वॉज बॉर्न इन श्रीलंका एंड नाउ ही लिव्स इन ब्रिटेन ही राइट्स स्मॉल स्टोरीज लाइक दिस आई होप यू ऑल हैव इन्जॉयड द स्टोरी कॉल्ड वाइल्ड डक एंड आई एम सेंडिंग यू द पी डी एफ एंड एवरी थिंग सो यू नीड टू रीड द चैप्टर एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट इट्स अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी एंड इन फ्यूचर इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग दिस चैप्टर यू कैन मैसेज मी और व्हाट्सएप मी इन द ग्रुप थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ नाइस डे स्टे सेफ